In July 2022, if you bought something from the online clothing giant Shein, you might have spotted something startling on the clothing tag. Do not dry clean due to water saving technology. Need your help. Washing with the soft detergent the first time. Wait, what? Need your help? You do a double take and realize that yes, that is definitely a sweatshop worker in China crying out for help. And then you discover you're not alone. Tons of people have been finding these scary messages for help on the labels of their Xi'an clothes, and people were freaking out. It turns out the low prices might be too good to be true after all. But then just as people started to really panic, the entire story gets debunked as a hoax. It shows a woman from Michigan in the United States that found this help me sign in a package from an underwear company located in the Philippines. And now Matthew, although we're still not sure whether this help me sign was a real cry for help or not, it is certainly not related to Sheen, the Chinese clothing company accused of forced labor in the video. Everyone breathes a sigh of relief. Now that everyone can go back to shopping on Xi'an with a clear conscience. But even though the story was a hoax, the sad part is that it's probably not far from the truth. This little hoax is a parody of the bigger problem of fast fashion. Fast fashion is basically peak hyper-consumerism, where the average piece of clothes in America is worn just 7 times before being thrown out, while Americans buy an average of 68 items of clothing every single year. And all of this means one thing. Money. A lot of money. We're making money, 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 money. But to make this fast fashion machine operate, you need some ruthless, heartless business practices. And at the top of it all is Xi'an, the most powerful secretive fashion company in the world that is bigger than Amazon. My name is Jake Tran. I make documentaries on money, power, war, and crime in my team. Subscribe for more. If you want to win $1,000 cash, you just have to be following me at Jake Tran and you're automatically entered. A few of you have won already? Watch out for fake accounts. I will never message you asking for money. And this is the ultra secretive, ultra profitable, and ultra fast business of Xi'an. If you're interested in starting your own fast fashion company, or whatever other business, then you gotta check out one of the audiobooks that completely changed my life. The War of Art by Stephen Pressfield. In it, Pressfield frames the pursuit of any creative endeavor as a war that you have to fight tooth and nail with. It's insanely inspirational and this audiobook is only two and a half hours long. And the best part is that you can listen to this audiobook for free right now by signing up for Audible, so you have no excuse to not check this out. Audible is a super easy sell for me because I've been using them for over four years now, and the stuff I've learned from their audiobooks has completely changed my life for the better, and I cannot thank them enough. I would literally be using Audible to the day I die, because listening to audiobooks is way easier than reading, and you can do it anywhere. I listen when I'm driving, working out, and doing chores. Audible is the biggest audiobook platform in the world that is constantly getting bigger, and it has audiobooks on anything you could possibly be interested in. Books on how to make money, famous memoirs, everything. Once you sign up, you can choose one title per month to keep from their entire catalog, and that includes new releases and bestsellers. You'll also have access to exclusive Audible originals from acclaimed experts and top celebrities. And you can try it out before fully committing, because new members get 30 days of Audible for free. So pause the video and get 30 days of Audible for free by going to audible.com slash jaketrend or texting jaketrend to 500-500. Again, that's audible.com slash jaketrend with the link below, or text jaketrend to 500-500. Thanks to Audible for sponsoring this video. seemed to blow up overnight. What was once an unknown company suddenly started popping up all over Instagram and TikTok. It was even being promoted by huge influencers and celebrities like Lil Nas X and Katy Perry. In just a few short months, the Shein Instagram account had over 25 million followers. And before you knew it, you couldn't go a day without seeing a video of someone unpacking a massive bag of clothes and happily captioning it, Shein Hall. Each one of those videos attracted millions of viewers who were quickly converted into devoted Shein customers all in less than a minute. But how? How had this no-name, no-clout company just appeared out of nowhere and taken over online shopping? Well, to find out, you'll have to go right back to the start of Shein. Back when its creator, Yang Tian Chris Xu, started a drop shipping business called Shein-side. But here's the thing. Looking into Chris Xu's past is kind of problematic. He's pretty much the stereotype of a mysterious, behind-the-scenes CEO. 
He's so elusive that you can only find a few photos of him on the internet. But here's what we do know. According to a local Chinese media report, Yang Tianxu was born in 1984 in the Shandong province of China. Even though his parents were poor farmers, they placed huge importance on education. Yang Tian wanted to live up to his family's expectations. So, he worked hard in high school and eventually went off to college at Qingdao University of Science and Technology. There, he split his time between studying and working part-time, before finally landing a job where he was in charge of search engine optimization, SEO, for a company. SEO is sort of like a hack businesses and websites use to rank higher in Google search results. If your website has great SEO, it will probably be somewhere on the first page of search results. So, when you search best places to eat in New York City, the websites that use the best SEO practices will be the first thing you see. In a nutshell, Xu was in charge of making sure the company's website was being found by people on the internet, even people who weren't really looking for them. The job made him an expert on SEO and getting people to click on and visit websites, a skill that would come in handy just a few years later when he finally struck out on his own. In 2008, Xu quit his job to help create a new company called Nanjing Dianwei Information Technology. At first, they were in the market for anything that could be made cheaply in China and sold overseas. Cell phones, kitchen supplies, pens, sunglasses, anything. But in 2009, it all changed. Yang Tian's fiance had been desperately searching for a wedding dress. When he saw how big a deal it was to find a gown for their special day, he had an idea, switching the business's focus to women's apparel. The ball got rolling pretty fast. Xu changed the company's name to Xi Inside to reflect their new niche in 2011, and by 2015, they dropped the side and adopted the short and sweet moniker of Xi'an that it goes by today. Xu wanted the name to be easier for searchers to spell and remember, and way more attractive to search engines. It was right around this time that the company really started making a name for itself. But that wasn't enough. Xu wanted to take Xi'an global. But to do that, he would have to compete with established fast fashion brands like H&M and Zara. If Xi'an was gonna stand out and take over the fast fashion industry, it was gonna have to formulate a new business model that would leave its competitors in the dust. Right out of the bat, Xi'an was very different from its fast fashion competitors. Chris Xia didn't care about the art of fashion or designing timeless clothes or having a million in-person stores worldwide. All he cared about was ruthless, hyper-efficiency. He is the modern-day Henry Ford, but for fashion, all business, no art, no emotions. Luckily, his years as an SEO expert meant he knew exactly how to get Xi'an to the top of Google's search results for cheap clothes. And with that skill, Xia kickstarted the company's international success starting with Xi'an's trademark 100% online, on-demand business model. At first, Xi'an wasn't even designing or producing any clothes itself. The company basically worked like a massive fashion drop shipping service. They would advertise clothes other designers or factories made online, and once people started ordering the clothes, Xi'an would send those orders on to the third-party manufacturers, pay them, and have them shipped directly to the customers who bought them. Then, when Xi'an finally started manufacturing its own clothes, it also took a shortcut. Other fashion retailers like Zara would spend a lot of time and money making big batches of clothing designs, hoping they would be popular with consumers. But for Xi'an, that left too much up in the air. So, they manufactured their products in small batches, tested how people responded to them, and only ramped up production for the most popular items. That way, they could sell their products for a ridiculously low price, always have new styles being launched, and make it look like they were environmentally friendly for cutting down on inventory waste. All while still bringing in a huge profit because they never had to recoup their production costs. With a strong on-demand business model up and running, the next step was getting their name out there. Xi'an was gonna have to be everywhere all the time for people to become interested in buying from them. Enter influencer marketing. Apps like Instagram and TikTok breathed life into the Xi'an brand. All it took was getting a few influencers on board, making fun little videos showing off everything they bought from Xi'an, and tagging it hashtag Xi'an and hashtag Xi'an haul, while telling their followers how they got all those clothes for just 
Shein hauls became so popular online that everyone wanted to get in on the fun and the fame. Y'all, the Shein package that I was waiting for arrived, so let's open it. And it's really heavy, so... It's hard to explain just how much of a game changer this was. See, typically, if you want influencers to promote your product, you would have to pay them a lot of money to make a video on it for YouTube or TikTok. But Shein was different. Just the idea of a giant fashion haul like these for just a few hundred dollars already made a pretty good viral video. Since influencers are always on the lookout for the next viral video idea, they wanted to make videos on giant cheap fashion hauls just for the views. And the only choice they had to go to to make this video possible? Shein. It was a genius self-sustaining marketing campaign. And before long, everyone under the age of 30 knew the name Shein. But now that Shein was feeding an insatiable demand, they ran into their next challenge. If they were going to become the biggest, fastest fashion brand the world had ever seen, they were going to need more than just publicity. They were going to have to keep up with every single fashion trend in real time. And to do that, they were going to have to work faster than any fast fashion brand had ever worked before. The OGs of fast fashion, like Zara, revolutionized the industry with their five-week turnaround times from putting a design on paper to it actually being sold in stores. In comparison, Shein could complete a design, make a product, and ship it off in as little as 10 days. It was unheard of. Shein started pumping out new designs and clothes at record speeds, and they did it by paying insanely close attention to what their customers were buying. And not in a, we care so much about our customers' experience type of way, but more of a, we want to get into the brains of these buyers and know exactly what they want before they do type of way. That's how Shein developed a powerful secret algorithm for predicting what trends are going to blow up next. Shein is so good at predicting trends and manufacturing clothes that match them that a member of the UK parliament actually said the company had a, quote, data collection network to rival many of the world's intelligence agencies." End quote. Yes, a Chinese clothing retailer is rivaling most of the world's intelligence agencies when it comes to data. Their algorithm is basically the equivalent of the YouTube algorithm, but for clothes. And all of this is done behind closed doors. Since it's privately held, Shein doesn't have to disclose its financial information. And that's the final layer to their multi-billion dollar success. Because if nobody knows how much you're worth or how exactly you're making so much money, nobody can control you. And that's coming from a company that's even bigger than Amazon in the United States. Today, Shein adds almost 9,000 new items to their website every day. They ship to over 150 countries and the company is valued at over $100 billion. More than its two biggest competitors, H&M and Zara, combined. But all this success hasn't come without a few controversies. In 2020, the site started selling a swastika necklace with the product description Metal Swastika Pendant Necklace for just $2.50. After people noticed it and called them out, Sheehan actually doubled down and defended the necklace. One Sheehan representative said, quote, For the record, Sheehan was not selling a Nazi swastika pendant. The necklace is a Buddhist swastika, which has symbolized spirituality and good fortune for more than a thousand years, end quote. Which is, in fact, true. The symbol has been around long before the Germans bastardized it. Regardless, they ended up removing the necklace anyway, stating, quote, However, because we understand the two symbols can be confused and one is highly offensive, we have removed the product from our site, end quote. This wasn't the first time that a questionable item was sold by Shein. Only a few months earlier, they had been selling Islamic prayer mats and labeling the items as, quote, decorative rugs, end quote. Once again, Shein apologized and removed the product from their site after public outrage. But there's more. This is Vanessa Bowman, who spent over 30 years creating a name for herself in the art world. She had a nice career selling paintings of scenes from around her town. One day, a fan reached out and asked if she'd been collaborating with Shein. She immediately said no, but imagine her shock when she found a cheap sweater for sale on the site with one of her paintings printed on the front. A painting she had done of her own garden. The company had never reached out to her or even tried to change anything about her artwork to make it look a little more original. 
They had literally just stolen the picture and slapped it on a low quality sweater. And Vanessa wasn't alone in discovering Sheehan had ripped off her art. Hundreds of artists and designers have the same story. Sheehan stole my art. The company has even gone so far as to steal the designs and exact logos from famous clothing brands like Stussy. And while giant brands like Stussy can afford to hold Sheehan accountable, most independent artists don't have the resources to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a billion-dollar company in China. So usually, the whole scandal just falls through the cracks and the artists get nothing. And for Sheehan, the few lawsuits they actually do get are basically just the cost of doing business. But that's only the tip of the iceberg. One theory as to why the company is so secretive is that their supply chain is violating a lot of labor laws that they don't want the world to know about. Long before the help me notes, people were getting loud about the possibility of Sheehan using child labor or exploiting their workers. In 2021, an investigation into Sheehan's production factories found that their employees were working 12 to 14 hour days with just one day off per month. And most of them end up working well over 75 hours a week which is a clear violation of Chinese labor laws that stipulate a working week can only be a maximum of 40 hours, overtime cannot exceed 36 hours per month, and workers must have at least one day off per week. Yes, Xi'an violates even Chinese labor laws. Besides the illegally long hours, their working conditions mirror past conditions that have led to sweatshop workers burning inside a fire because they were locked inside their sweatshop. Employees work in uncomfortable, cramped rooms with barred windows and no emergency exits. Many of the production sites are just makeshift factories set up in residential buildings. And there is little to no oversight or rules protecting any of the workers. Plus, Sheehan doesn't issue them any employment contracts, so on paper they're not even actually employed or entitled to any labor rights they might ask for. You know who Sheehan reminds me a lot of? Monsanto, also known as the company that owns the world's food supply. Just like Sheehan, Monsanto has a tight grip on the industry they control, and they've done some really awful things to climb to the top. How awful, you ask? Well, bad enough that if we told you about it here on the channel, it would definitely get demonetized. But obviously we couldn't keep a documentary like that from you guys. There's just too much juicy information about Monsanto that you need to know. So instead of posting it in public, we released it as an exclusive feature length private documentary that goes into every last grimy detail about Monsanto's darkest practices. And so far, it's been a huge hit with our channel members. All you have to do to access our exclusive Monsanto documentary and every other full length doc that's just too messed up or too controversial to post publicly is click the join button below. After signing up, you'll be able to watch the Monsanto documentary and others like Efri Epstein, MK Ultra, The Bin Laden Papers, The Roots of Middle East Terror, and a really controversial one coming up next on CIA black sites that we're legitimately nervous about. It's all the stuff you should be learning in school and university, but definitely aren't. Plus, unlike university, you can get all of this for only $5 a month. And there's a refund policy too, unlike most YouTube memberships. So if you join and you don't think it's worth it, email us within your first month of joining and we will personally refund you for your first month. After your first month, there is no refund. So pause the video right now and click that join button below. What's up everyone? Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you are new here, my name is Jake, and this is one of the biggest channels on YouTube for documentaries on money, power, war, and crime. So we make multiple videos just like this one every single week for free. And all you have to do is click that subscribe button below. And remember, you can always dislike and unsubscribe whenever you want, so you have nothing to lose. If you want shorter versions of these videos, you can follow me on Facebook. And for a chance to win a thousand dollars, you can follow me on Instagram at Jake Tran. That is gonna wrap it up. Stay dangerous out there, and I will see you guys in the next one.